Hello and welcome to Biobags. My name is James and I'm your Sunday night reviewer. And this evening I decided to take a look at the um, recently released restaurant title, The Unholy. Took a slight pause there because I think this was this was released a little later in the UK. So this is like a 29, 2019 release. I, I think it's 2018 in the US. But this is a 1987 film and what we have um, there's a priest at the start of the film and he gets uh, seduced by this beautiful woman who tears out his throat and you learn that she's in fact a demon so yes this is a churchy film as you can probably see from, from the back there um, we, we cut to a different scene where we have like our main lead who is Ben Cross who's actually pretty good actually is one thing with this film the acting apart from that blonde guy you saw there his character name is Luke and Millie those two characters are really n not so good actors but I think and the demon, she's all right. But then a lot of the actors, there's the good actors like Hal Holbrook in this for for one. And there's a few other big names in here. Ned Beat is in here as well, and Trevor Howard. So there's quite a few kind of larger names in here. But jumping around from that, um, so what was his name again? Uh, our main priest, Michael, Father Michael. Yeah, he's helping just talk someone down. He's a jumper. But the jumper pulls him out of the window and he drops like 17 stories or something and is unharmed in any way. And so uh, the church, they put him back into the New Orleans church that was shut down when the priest, from the very first scene that we saw, had his throat cut out. So they shut the church down after that and um, they've decided to reopen it because it's the parish is needed. It's there, they, they need the church there. And yeah, he's there's another priest, an older priest who's a demonologist and he kind of knows that, that there's evil within this church. Uh, during the Easter time, it um, can kind of come alive almost like, like the demon and um, it takes the um, it makes a sacrifice of a a uh, holy person a priest so it's actually you find out that there's uh, was it Warren Beatty he's a policeman in this film and he actually tells Michael the priest that there's actually two murders two priests have been killed so he's like the third one doing this and the same patterns are happening the same like there's this um, nightclub that's close there, the, this blonde guy that he keeps him popping up, um, that he runs a nightclub and is into black magic. Well, he says it's all part of just the show of the magic, but that's what he's into, uh, black magic and witchcraft. And um, there's this young woman that, that one of the previous priests had tried to help. And um, this is kind of where it's a little bit distracting because uh, th there's a lot, you follow her quite a lot in the film. Well, well, she keeps popping up throughout. There's different scenes where she's asking for help. She's a bit snarky at the, the start, but then she comes to him and she's like saying that she needs some help and things like that. But the previous priest was trying to help her. And then there's one night where she snaps and tries to kill like the owner of the nightclub. And she's uh, incarcerated in a uh, asylum, but then she breaks out from there somehow. And um, she goes to the church and seeks asylum, and there's all these different things going on. But I kind of, there's no real need for her character in the film. Well, th this is a first time watch, so going through it, kind of, I, I couldn't see what the need for her character was, or this, um, this Luke, also. Well, I kind of see his. It's kind of like. No, actually, I don't really see like the whole the link of 
the demon and the church and then the nightclub with these characters it's kind of a bit disjointed and doesn't quite I can't quite click it together I think I may need like a second watch to kind of see it but it doesn't really piece together for me maybe there's a few things that I missed but yeah it feels awkward and yeah I, I, I don't see <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's just filler just just to put this like a not a satanic uh, events happening in this nightclub and then um, this whole character of Millie but that's kind of how it kind of appeared to me like I said this is a first time watch and maybe I need to kind of view it again but anyway we, we're set up that there's um, this whole kind of big showdown at the end so the demon it kills by seducing the priests and then that moment of seduction when they have sinned that's when they are killed by the demon and then that's the sacrifice to hell to Satan um, yeah so we have the big show off at the end and you kind of guess how it goes um, like I said the acting in this is really solid on the whole like the main actors especially uh, Ben Cross the, the main priest of Michael no, that's him on the front there he did um, he did a really good job yeah and like like how he's like getting flashbacks of the demon and stuff like that that's something that I wish the demon was in a little bit more a bit less of the nightclub and the character of Millie and more focus on the demon and what's going on there because it's like the demon is taking a back seat and it's like the demon I can't remember the name now but it's the unholy and it's like should we have more, a bit more focus on that it's like um I found myself getting distracted by it because I was just, like trying to figure out why exactly it's focusing on other areas and the film finished and I'm like kind of still trying to figure out why it's focusing on other areas so much but it's on the whole it's a it's a good film it's well shot it's interesting although little like I said a little not confusing but confusing to the point where you're trying to piece things together and like why, why is all this happening um, soundtrack's okay yeah I'm kind of like this is an okay film it's um, having a few issues with it and I really do think it needs a second watch because there's elements I liked and elements I was just like I just don't really get why it's in there um, it's kind of aged a little bit when you see the demon it's kind of like how you expect some demons to look in the 80s but a little not as good as some of them uh, has a very interesting quite cool animatronic tongue that you see working its way around different areas at different points then it has this, these also two miniature minion demon things which just look a bit stupid but there's a few cool bits of like gore in this like throats ripped out um, cadaver gutted um, bleeding from the eyes and stuff like that um, it's on the whole it's an interesting film um, so I'm in a really tricky position now it's like I don't normally rate films and I don't normally recommend them or not but I think I need to give this one another watch because I think this could be quite good when I figure out <laughs> kind of the, the piecing all the pieces of the story together that's kind of how it is everything's a bit juxtaposed right now and it's not it's not slipping together maybe it will happen on the second watch uh, so yeah this is the restaurant release I got these transfers pretty good could be better I think compared to when you see a lot of like other companies like you know, um, Vinegar Syndromes and Severins and Arrow and Screen Factories and stuff like that. This is kind of, although good, on the weaker side, definitely. But um, I don't really know Vestron. I'll just pick this up and I picked up Parents. And I still I, I love that film, but I haven't checked out the transfer of that yet. So we'll see if I get any more of these films. But that's the end of the kind of calamitous, kind of confused review. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys next week when it's theme week. Thank you. Bye-bye.